Hello everyone, this is Mike with Lovey's Fat Life. Hey, and today it has been two years since we've been to Margaritaville Resort in Nassau, Bahamas. We're going to go back and check it out, show you the price, show you how to get there, walk you around the facility, tell you what changes have been there, and hey, is it still worth it or not? Two years since we've been there. We went there after it had been open for about two or three weeks. Let's check it out now, two whopping years later. Let's show you how to get there if you are walking. As you can see, this is the Nassau cruise port. It's only about a 13 minute walk, about a five minute car ride. Uh, we have mobility issues, so we did take a taxi here. But as you can see by this map on Google, that it's not that bad if you had to walk or wanted to walk. Again, only a 13 minute walk. Um, taxi was about $6 per person. Uh, for us, it was five in, in the vehicle, so it was 18 bucks to ride over there, plus, you know, whatever you want to tip them. But this is something that if you don't have mobility issues, you definitely could walk uh, to a Margaritaville Beach Resort. Now let's look at how you get to the taxi stand. We're in Nassau. Carnival sunrise over there. You will walk to the end of the cruise uh, port. Um, right here, you see the video screen on the right. This is the shopping area type two. Uh, you'll make a right at this point, and then you'll see signs that say taxi stand or taxi area. You see it right here as we're coming up on it. This is a lot nicer than it used to be. You used to have to get them on the street corner, uh, but now they actually have a designated area and we'll take a look at it as well. If you are taking a taxi, it'll drop you off right at the beach resort. Uh, they'll drop you off at the front entrance and right to the right of the entrance, uh, kind of behind it, that's actually where you will go to the fins up area. Show them your uh, you know, pre-bought passes uh, if you buy them from them or another resort. Uh, here you can see the ticketing booth. They already have a, a, your name and a code for you. So all you have to do is go up and give them your last name. Uh, of course, take your receipt with you. We uh, had left without it, but luckily we pulled it up on our email, took a screenshot of it, and gave her our um, booking or confirmation number. So then you'll make a right here and go into the resort. So now let's take a walk around the perimeter of the beach resort, Margarita Beach Resort. Uh, this was right before they started uh, cranking out the lazy river and putting all the tubes out. So I think that doesn't start till 10 o'clock and we got there uh, about 9.30. Uh, they'll let you in a little bit earlier. Uh, they do have lockers and bathrooms as soon as you come in. You can see the lockers over here to the right. Uh, we took our bathing suits and stuff and changed there. The bathrooms are very nice, very clean. Um, you know, we just wanted to change there because we had planned on going to eat somewhere else later on. They do have a restaurant here as well. Uh, we did not eat here this time. We do have a previous video. Uh, we'll put a link into it if you want to watch it where we tell you what we thought about the food. We do try some uh, drinks and some um, chips here. We'll show you that. But you can also reserve the cabanas in the middle. Uh, they have signs up on those saying that they're reserved or not. But let's just take a walk around the outside of the perimeter of this so you can kind of see it if you're watching this for the first time what this place looks like. Then we'll show you the beach, the flow rider area, and then we'll just jump in the lazy river and give you a point of view tour of it. And uh, hey, this is two years since we've been here. We're seeing some of the changes that have happened over the two years. But we'll tell you at the very end if we think it was worth it or not. You already saw how much we paid. Uh, it was $300, $100 per person, plus the uh, VAT tax uh, ended up being $356. I know that's a lot of money, but if you were to buy another excursion here, uh, it's probably 75 to hundred dollars a person as well, unless you did some kind of walking tour. So let's go ahead and go around and see what this place looks like.
All right, it's pretty crowded out here at this time. This is the Margaritaville Resort section. The rest of Junkanoo Beach is that way. This water is very pretty though. Look at all the little fish. Asked the guy what that was. He said a restaurant being built. <laughs> it's been built, being built for two years now. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what's happened to it because it looked about the same two years ago. It did. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. I bet there's good snorkeling around that dock though, pier area. Yeah, we didn't bring our snorkel stuff. So you see all the ships in over there, and that's only probably half of them. Three carnivals. A royal and a princess ship and maybe MSC so I'm not touching the bottom right now I am super buoyant and I'm pretty buoyant too look at me and I sink in regular fresh, fresh water but I'm, I am not kicking I am I'm not the greatest swimmer but in salt water I'm a hell of a swimmer <laughs> yeah I wonder why Michelle's sitting on top of the water I can guess two reasons. Look at all those people crammed underneath those umbrellas down there. That looks horrible. So that's the section that's not part of Margaritaville. Look at that. Junk in the deep. Look at all those umbrellas. Umbrellas overlapping umbrellas. Yep, even this Margaritaville part is kind of packed now, you know what? It's not, I mean, there's a lot of people here though. But this water is beautiful. This is half Moon Key, Bahama, beautiful water. Not quite as much. But I can see my feet way down there. Infinity Pool up there. You do not have access to that. Only if you stay. Only if you stay in the resort. But you see the girl in the Infinity Pool. See, she's not wearing any bottoms. No, I'm just picking. But the Infinity Pool looks really cool. This is Frank's and Lola's SOH bar. And so Michelle, Margaritaville, do you think it's do you think it's worth the cost? I mean it's a hundred dollars a person plus tax and all that stuff ended up being about three fifty. So this experience we have had um like full size service. Which is That's very new. Nice. They didn't do that last time no. two years ago. No, and um, that is very nice. Um, running a tab for it, um, really nice. So that I think counts for something. Um, Plus it's cash or check, and it used to be uh, uh, cash or credit. Right. It used to be credit only, right. so now they take both. So it's um, yeah, I think it's really nice. I mean, you're going to pay a hundred dollars a person for most excursions on the ship. This was just a, what, it was an $18? Well, there's five of us in the, in the vehicle, and it was $18 for our part and 15 for the other couple who did not bring cash. And the cab driver and was And the cab nice driver enough. was nice enough to say, I'll let you do this for free, or you can go to an ATM. And the lady did say she wanted to go to an ATM. I don't know what happened of it. No, we got out. But listen, if you're going to go to a port and you're going to use a taxi, it's not the USA. You need to bring cash to have both yeah. cash and credit card. Yeah. And I don't like using credit cards in other countries, so yeah. I'd much rather use cash. So tip. always bring cash. Always bring cash. And that's your right. Card because they're yeah. gonna need both. Yeah. So, life lesson learned. That was the first time she said she had been to Nassau. Uh, they were a nice couple, and I think they felt bad about it. And the driver was nice enough that he was he was a, he was a little upset. You could tell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm just messing. Did you see what she did there? I saw. She, she did you wrong there. We're going to speed things up, double speed here, and just show you us floating around the Lazy River, kind of a point of view from being in the water. And um, then that'll be about it. So we'll get to see what's inside the Lazy River, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Got an eight dollar Sands Light. It's a local beer here. Anthony got some guac, and chips. It's fourteen dollars for that, right, Michelle? Plus a vat, a vat, and gratuity. Well, what do you got, Michelle? I got some kind of. It's not a Long Island. It's some kind of a lot of alcohol with some juice in it. Really? Okay. All right, I'm gonna try Michelle's Long Island Beecher. Tastes alcohol. But Michelle says there's a lot of alcohol. In it, so. so, 22, is that 14? 15, 23, $37 just for this little bit right here. But it's okay, we're on vacation. And um, that's not including gratuity and back tax either. So, I may drink another beer. Um, Got Anthea water to get some hydration in him, some water in him. Final thoughts. I think Michelle and I kind of said it when we were in the ocean at uh, Margaritaville uh, at the beach area. Um, you know, this is expensive. It's not cheap. So uh, if you're in, you know, if you're real frugal, this is not for you. Uh, but a clean place, a safe place, in my opinion, uh, decent beach, uh, pretty water, uh, music playing, pumping the whole time. Uh, I love a lazy river. Um, it's just, it's great for kids in my opinion as well. Are you seeing part of the countryside of Nassau and this, and the, you know, the island itself? No. Uh, but if you go to Nassau quite a bit and a lot of ships hit it, you know, on the itinerary for the Bahamas, uh, to me, it's worth dry, trying at least one time. We did this two years ago. We had a good time. We did it this time. We had a great time. The extra benefits this time were they did do poolside uh, or Lazy Riverside service. They didn't do that two years ago. They also kept a tab for you. They also let you use check in, I mean, a uh, credit card and cash. Two years ago, it was only credit card only. Uh, but we had a great time. So we definitely say yes, uh, it's worth it to us. 
But I know some of you guys from the previous video are going to say, no, no way. It's way too much money. And I get that. So tell us what you think. Have you done it recently? What you thought about it? And uh, please like, comment, subscribe to Lovey's Fat Life, uh, where you're cruising and travel channel. We do a lot of cruises. We try to do some other things as well. But pretty much for the last two or three years, we've been doing nothing but cruising. And uh, we got a lot of cruises upcoming. So thank you guys again. Have a good one.